All right, it's May 12th, 2020, and I'm just gonna get an update on my in-ground Dendrobelmus Zinicus Dragon Bamboo. And recently, so far as far as this month, I haven't seen any upward growth from any of the new shoots. And what my theory is, it just hasn't been raining at all for the last couple of weeks. Like, even if it does, it's just gonna drizzle a little bit like it is now, probably really getting any moisture. And I'll get this guy two five gallon buckets like twice a week. I don't really want to go out and water this guy every day, but I'm not really sure if it's going to make that much of a difference. But another issue is this guy has way too much foliage and it's going to take a lot of water. And uh, from what I've heard, if you water sparingly but water really heavily, it should allow the roots to kind of get stressed a little bit and then. Once watered deeply, they can reach down further into the uh, into the soil. So I'm hoping that's uh, gonna help it. But so far, usually, unless it's really hot, I don't see too much leaf curl. But as you see down here, what I'm talking about is like that shoot on the side. It's been up for a week and it's looked about the same. Whereas one. Like this big shoot was coming out, the first one inch here, this guy was ra ra rising up really quickly and it's actually still the tallest one, just a little over 9 feet. But then like on the right side you have one comb, what's well, actually still kind of a shoot now because it's just starting to leaf out. But this guy, it's actually a little bit bigger in diameter, maybe about a quarter inch, may not even, it's probably a little under an inch and a quarter at the bottom, but once rising up, as you're following it up, it's pretty hard to see, but this is it right here. It's actually still probably bigger than this guy a little bit, but then it kind of tapers off at the top just because there's not really enough energy available in this comb to really supply it to grow any taller. So it's probably ending up right close to about 8 feet instead of getting over 9 feet, which it should have. So, it might grow a little bit more, but what I think is the issue is so many of these combs are branching out, because right now when they branch out, they make these super long branches. Like, they're ridiculously long, and like a lot of these combs will make up to like 9 branches each. And, as you see, these branches themselves, they can be up to like 4 feet in length, which is crazy. And there's probably like, uh, like 20 something combs in here, and if there's probably more than 10 of them at a time that are trying to make branches, it's just going to be such a heavy load. Like right here, this guy is the biggest diameter one at the base. And it's just starting to branch, but with all this branching going on, it's destroying so much energy that it's completely shutting down all the shoot growth at the base. So this guy's gonna become super bushy. Like right now it still looks bushy but I'm thinking once these branches, once all these shoots actually make branches and they all bush out, it's gonna be ridiculously bushy. It's gonna be like the bottom portion but at the top too. And it seems like most of these columns are going to be anywhere from 7 to 9 feet, except for the stunted ones because the stunted ones, this guy was just shooting non-stop before, but there were some of them that were actually still in the process of shooting. And since there's this energy shortage, this is coming up this way, they didn't really get to get to the full height, so. Some of them are only going to be like six, seven feet tall, and they're going to be pointless. They're going to be shaded out by everything else. This is such a thick clump. But I guess this bamboo must know what it's doing. Because eventually, once this guy becomes a big bush, up to like a nine, ten feet tall, probably just as big in diameter or more. In order to actually build more energy, it's going to have to produce much bigger combs, probably closer to two inch ones that can rise way above the canopy and actually get the sky to grow better. But yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. Initially, it takes a lot of these combs down, 
and as a response to that they tend to really expand the canopy for each comb and they'll even activate some of the bottom ones some of the bottom branches that were dormant so yeah it's definitely getting really big really bushy but as far as getting new shoots it's probably not going to be until well after June to actually get an upsize and something really interesting to happen.